will be drawing the front elevation of the building. Last video I dropped, we drew the floor plan to a scale of 1 is to 100. So in today's video, we'll be drawing the front elevation of the building. So we'll also be using a scale of 1 is to 100 and drawing the front elevation of the building. What are we going to make use of in drawing the front elevation? <coughs> we make use of the ground level, the floor level. We also make use of the floor to ceiling height. We also make use of the roof, the pitch roof, the east projection, the rafter, and so many others. The windows and so many others. So, in the former video, we drew the floor plan. I'm sure you've watched that and you went through the video, you enjoyed all what we learned, we talked about there. So I'm sure you now know the basics or how to draw the floor plan, the step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll also be dropping more videos in a key concept on how to draw the floor, floor plan, front elevation, how to section a building. So in my next video, watch out, I'll be dropping to draw how to section a building. That I'll be drawing next. So we have, this is what we drew in the floor plan in the last video. We drew the floor plan and this is it that we drew in the floor plan. So in drawing the front elevation, now we are looking the front direction. <coughs> this is not in the 30 degrees view. It's not a 3D block. It's plain. <coughs> Alright. And we are looking in this front elevation, the front side. So what are we seeing? Now, this is the front side. We are seeing this front face. Now this front face, inside this bedroom there is a wall here which is this this is the wall now in this wall we have the outside and we have the inside which one are we seeing if you stand outside here now so if i stand here what am i seeing is it the outside or the inside is the outside surface so this outside i'm seeing because this is it, it stops here so in the front elevation i'm seeing only the outside walls the one that are inside like this this these, 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 and the ones are inside. I cannot see them. So, here, what I'm seeing the outside that's the edge. We also see this flat face, yes, that we are seeing, but the edge is what we are seeing, which is this the outside one, which is this. So, we are seeing this part here. Look at here, we are also seeing these two edges. We are seeing here, we are seeing here. So, without wasting much of our time, let's take, get to the procedures. Draw a straight line. Good. So we're having this. So this is the ground level. So we'll mark it GL ground level. So this ground level. No, in join the the in doing our assignments, technical join, we make use of A to paper. I forgot to talk about that. So we make use of A to paper. So it's advisable you buy an A to paper. It's advisable, very advisable, so that through the floor plan, we just project lines downwards and we get our foot elevation without wasting time. So that's what we are meant to do. We are meant to draw lines downwards, but we use an A4, we know it's an E2. So in our next video and other videos, we will be using, or you can even slant the A4, keep it straight. You can slant it this way and we draw it downwards like this. That will do. So we can just slant it and draw the plan here then we can draw the lines downward and draw a front elevation for those who cannot afford an e2 but in your wic examination or other school exams or tests you'll be needing an e2 so take note of that please so this is the ground level after ground level then we have to draw the floor level we'll just mark 0 0.1 pm for the floor level So after floor level, we have the floor to ceiling height, which is this. The floor to ceiling height is 3,150. So we know how we convert, we divide by 100, which is giving us 31.5 millimeter. Then we convert, do we approximate it to 32 millimeter. Then 32 millimeter, we convert to centimeter, we divide by 10. 
giving us 3.2 centimeter so from the floor level here this is floor level so from the floor level we mark 3.2 cm upwards which is this so this is 3.2 centimeter exactly this so we we'll come back to our floor plan in the floor plan we are seeing this edge here we are seeing this one we are seeing this two because this is a beam here so we we'll have to draw that it's a beam on its own so we are seeing this two we are also seeing this other edge here and i seeing this edge so we are actually meant to project the line downwards to not be hard for us if that we projected it down we we'll just draw draw no need of measuring but because we do not project so we have to measure so from here to here is giving us 3.5 cm so we we'll mark 3.5 cm this is where we marked our first line so we we'll mark 3.5 cm here which is this so after 2.5 the next which is from here to here we are having 5 cm good so mark 5 cm here so after that the next edge is giving us 3.7 is giving us 3.7 so mark 3.7 centimeter so which is this here good and now if you take notes in this our sketch plan the one the sketch here is 3.5 and we have 3.5 here is 5 and we have 5 3.7 3.7 to tell us that our work is accurate our floor plan was accurate so if you not watch that video do well to watch that so we have to draw the line here at those points we marked this is this 3.2 cm the floor to ceiling height we will draw for the next one So we've drawn the floor to ceiling height. So we just join them together. Good. So after drawing the floor to ceiling height, the next thing we do is we take after draw the roof. So in the roof in the pitch we're having 15 degrees double gable with corrugated steel sheet. So what they mean by 15 degrees is the roof will slant 15 degrees here will be 15, here will be 15 that's how the roof will join to give us the point of intersection so using our protector we measure 15 degrees which is here then we also measure 15 degrees here then so we have to join our lines for them to intercept good so this is the 15 degrees where they intercept so after drawing this we then have east projection 750 so 750 divided by 100 7.5 approximately 8 so 8 millimeter over to centimeter 0.8 centimeter so from here we draw east projection we project it to the left and the right sideways so we project it by 0.8 cm which is this 
good to project it by 0 0.8 here then we also project this one by 0 0.8 here good so at this point we then draw a line here so we just draw a straight line so at this top here we draw a straight line good so after drawing a straight line we then join this upwards with this good then we also have here after that then at this our each um which cap here we we'll just measure 0 0.1 cm here so for me we'll measure 0 0.1 cm downwards also do same here good then draw a straight line too 0 0.1 centimeter which is for the reach cap and after the reach cap starboard for the first starboard we have 300 divided by 100 3 millimeter 0 0.3 centimeter so from here we measure 0 0.3 cm upwards as for the fascia board which is this and 0 0.3 which is this so we'll draw a straight line here too good that is for the fascia board and after that, we have to draw. Now we we'll look at our floor plan. At our floor plan, at this place here, we have a beam. This beam is not joined together. It's not a wall. It's just at the top. And this is the veranda side. So at this beam, what do we need to do? Looking forward, here we have a pillar. So we have to draw that. And in our beam, we have two to five by two to five. Which is when we convert to CM giving us 0 0.2 CM. So, and at 2400 above floor level. So, from our floor level here, we mark 2.4 CM. Then, for the beam which crosses here, we have to join the beam upwards. Also, but before then, we have to join this pillar here by 0 0.2 CM. Then, after joining the pillar at the 2.4 CM, we draw the beam. So, let's do that first. So this is giving us 2.4 here and this is giving us 2.4 here good so we have to mark this the pillar is only in this place here the pillar is only here so we have to put this pillar which is 0 0.2 cm good they will draw here upwards Then we have to join it together. This so this is for the beam. Now after the beam, what do we have next? We then have our door windows. So we don't have any door in this floor plan. It's only windows we have, which is here, here, and here. So we have to draw the window. But the window is always at the door level from the door level downwards but we, since we don't have a door all we just do is we we'll just mark for the height of the door is 2 1 for all of them so the highest value is always the height and we have 2.1 cm as the height so we we'll just mark 2.1 cm i will draw a thin line forward So this is 2.1 cm then just draw a thin line good so this is the door level since we have a door we just have to put our window from the door level so the window we have in here so we'll just measure from here to here is giving us 1.2 cm then the window width is 1.2 so 
from this part here we mark our 1.2 which is this your major 1.2 cm this is for the first window good then for the other window which is this here we are having the width distance 1.2 same 1.2 cm then after that the total of 2.4 after the 1.2 mark, it's giving us 2.4 total. Because we're having two windows, W1, W1, different window. So we just join them together. Since we just joined them, the after marking the 1.2 here, we just draw for the windows 2.4, which is here. Good. This is for the other window. Then after the window, we then have the dining room window. The dining room window the distance is 1.3 1.3 so we mark 1.3 which is here then our width is 1.2 so we mark 1.2 Good. So we have to bring our windows down. The window, the height for W1 is 1.2. So this is for height, this is for width. So we have to draw by 1.2 downwards for each of them. So at this point of 1.2. Yeah. So after drawing the window, we have to make it make the sign, make it look like a window. So put our slash here, slash, same here, then. This is for the window, but in the window, they say all oh, aluminium casements. So we've done that of the window. After the window, what is next? I'm just taking our work, taking our work, each part, the edge and other parts here. Good for the front elevation. So after the window, now look at this floor plan. The floor plan, I cannot see the floor level in this part, we cannot see the floor level here too, we cannot see the floor level, it's only ground level you can see but from here, we can see the floor level because here is the veranda so what we we'll just do is, at this floor level part for the parts you cannot see, we we'll use short dashes at the line And for the parts we can see, we just draw the straight line. So it's to indicate that yes, there is a floor level there. That's the floor level. So this is the front elevation of this floor plan. So you draw the front elevation. What's next? We need to section the building. Watch out for my next video. A lucky concept always deliver as the best in the game. So do all to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we drop the next video on how to section the building.